Good morning. Good morning, my revivers. Today I will be doing a video live on the CPR vibe. Today is day four. Guys, I've been neglecting my bedroom and my dining room. Hold on, I'm trying to close my door, keep my AC in. My dining room. Just little stuff in the house because I've been working out two days and coming home showering and being so exhausted. So I'm making breakfast right now. Ooh. And hubby and I are having cream of wheat. And I do got clothes on. We're having cream of wheat and turkey, butterball sausage. Oh Lord. I do not feel like going anywhere today. I really need to flush, do an Epsom salt flush. Um, so I'll probably do that tonight, maybe. Yeah, tonight, because I work this weekend. So that's probably what's going to happen. But, oh my gosh. My JJ. I feel like it was beat up. That bike beat it up. It did, because, oh my gosh. It swole a little bit. It don't feel good. I don't know if I'm a bike today. Um... I'm gonna give it some time. I, I, I don't know. I need to lose a little bit more weight or what, but it hurts y'all. It don't feel good. I do not feel good. And I'm still pushing. I messed up yesterday. Ate some salt and vinegar, ate some striped cookies, all that good stuff. Um, last night I did have some <clears throat> shredded wheat. It's a cinnamon toast crunch shredded wheat. I know it's not all that healthy, but I don't, <clears throat> I didn't want to eat no cookies. So I just ate that. I thought that was a little bit better. Um, the eating cookies, so that was my night snack. Um, I was just really hungry after the bike ride last night, so yep. This is one of our favorite breakfasts, and this is just cream of wheat with some butterball turkey sausage. Okay, y'all, so y'all see, I got all black on, right? I wear a jacket around my waist because of this, <laughs> these pants do not fit. These pants are cutting off right here, but you can't tell if I wear black underwear. <laughs> See how my booty look like too? Yeah, they don't fit. So, I have to go out and find me some more pants. I'm trying not to buy nothing, but I still, even when I lose the weight, I don't have a lot of workout gear. So, see all this love, handles, and gut? That got to go, y'all, got to go. So, look at that gut. Look at it, making me look like I got four booties. So, yep, I'm going to hide that with my jacket, and we're going to get ready to go out and find me some something to make me feel comfortable. Um, you know, when you plus size, you don't be wanting to be all colorful and looking all huge, and I don't. So, <laughs> I'm definitely going to um, go hit probably the store Kohl's or um, Walmart or something like that and see if I can find something, some pants, just some bottoms that I can put on. Yeah, y'all see my bed? Not made. But it's early. It's like 8 something in the morning. I just ate breakfast and yep, this is what I'm dealing with. So I gotta get it together. Just wanted to share that. And I have a couple other things. I'm gonna do a video on some of the stuff that I can't fit that I wanna get into and see if I get into it by the 60 day challenge. Like some cute little stuff. Let me show y'all. Let me show you. Hold on. Now I know y'all see me wearing um, the robe a lot. I love the robe. But my hubby bought me the whole set. And it's inside out. But it's the cutest little set, guys. And I can't fit it. Let me show y'all. I'm going to put it on over my clothes um, just to show you how tight it is. And let's see if it transforms over these 60 days. Y'all, this is just a t-shirt. So even with the t-shirt, you could tell this thing don't fit. I was like, you know what? This was, I got this like last year. Y'all seen the robe I rock it a lot in my videos. See how squeezed my chi chis are in this? Yeah. I can't even, like, literally can't get it down. So, I'm hoping I can actually get it on. That would be awesome to get this thing completely on. Because I love it and I think it's too cute. But, struggle, struggle, struggle. And we gonna see. See how I rock it? <laughs> well, you can't tell. Yeah. Yep. All right, headed to the store called fellas to find out if they have some workout gear or something that 
I can wear as workout gear because I, I can wear stretch pants in a minute. It don't matter to me. I love wearing black anyway, so it's not a big issue. Um, are they even open, baby? Look like they closed, but we'll see. And I'll show you guys what I end up getting, all right? When I say frustrating day, the worst thing you can do is not get up and work out when you need to early and start your day because it seemed like a million freaking things would try to stop that. So we said, okay, we had to get up. We had to get this stuff for the, the flower bed. We had to go, um, what did we do early this morning? Oh, I needed some, some sports bras. So we're looking for sports bras. We're looking for workout clothes. I literally have two pairs of pants that I keep throwing in the washer every time I work out. And I'm working out like twice a day right now. So it's really freaking irritating to have to come home, wash them so they'd be ready for the next morning or the next workout. Went to go find some. I tried them on. Can't stand them. Don't look right there. Them see-through um, stretch pants. No. You can see your panties and you can see your skin. No. Not doing it. So got to take those back. Long story short, go get all the stuff for the, um, the garden in bed. Guys, Home Depot is so expensive. Like literally get home, building the garden, the raised garden bed, doing all that. It starts to pour. Right in the middle of the video, it starts thunderstorming. So we had to bring all the, I literally have all the vegetables and stuff sitting here on my counter. Those are the collard greens um, that need to be put in the ground. And we're going to try to do part two tomorrow. Um, but we did get it, put the soil in. I did record that. So that would be part one on my daughter's channel. Start pouring. We was going to go ride bikes tonight um, at the park. This is going to be... I wasn't going to put this clip in, but I'm glad I did because I want you to see what actually happened even after this frustrating day. One of those days, you know, I try to do it every day, not saying that, um, you know, life happens. It does. And I'm so freaking frustrated. It is late. I'm cooking my still sticking to the plan. I'm not having ate nothing bad today, guys. I ate my cream of wheat and sausage today and I ate um, some nuts. And a fruit snack for snack. And since I've been home, I drank a little bit of natural green tea that my husband makes with lemon in it that we keep in the refrigerator. And that's it. And I've just been drinking water. Now I have my, um, let me see if I can show you guys, my cabbage and sausage cooking like I said I would. That's what gonna, dinner going to be. Um, I'm sweaty. I feel disgusting from being on the ground and my knees trying to get this bed together. But... The reason I definitely stuck to eating good today and not eating too much is because I just had a feeling I wasn't going to be able to work out like I needed to. But this is life. I'm being real with you guys and I'm sharing with you guys. Your girl has got a headache now and I need to go and literally eat, take me a shower and lay it down and start fresh tomorrow and not beat myself up. Because today is one of them days where I feel like taking all my family members and hanging them in the closet um, by their shirts like this like that and say stay there until I'm ready to deal with you okay yeah that's how I feel today my time of month is right now and uh, mommy is not feeling too well and um that bicycle really took a toll on my y'all it hurts and it hurts really bad like just moving and doing everything it really hurts so I think I need to relax take some pain meds and kind of get my life together as far as that goes as well but this is my this is my day four Oh, I want that. oh, it ain't a boogie, guys. It's a fuzzy. It's not a boogie. So yeah, that's my day four. I'm 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 signing out. Um, I got a mess to clean up, like all the catch-all. Do y'all see that? I got clean up. That's all the veggies and stuff. I got clean that mess up. Clean this mess up. We've been doing some DIY projects and <sighs> that table. My daughter's new AC came in today. It's just a lot. So um. Let me get my life together and get all this stuff done, feed my family, and um, I will talk to you on day five, but this is what it is for day four. Nothing but life. Later. Yeah, I just got off my live, had to clean the kitchen after dinner, and I said, I'm going to go and work out. I'm not just going to leave it at that. Even if I burn a little something, it's going to count. Because I ate good today. Ate healthy. Didn't eat nothing I wasn't supposed to. As you already know, because I said it. But your girl ended up coming up and getting out walking around my block. So, yeah. My little Rizmeister behind me. We got our jump ropes. 
we're gonna jump a little bit walk a little bit and y'all see my day four burn wasn't two workouts today but it wasn't not none like i had put in my head <laughs> so yeah i had to push myself got motivated and inspired by my own words and got up and pushed so about to get this in and you will see my workout and i'll probably just drink some water or um no i'm gonna drink some lemon water tonight and probably eat um another packet of the little walnut and almond um, 100 calorie things might eat that i don't think it's something else mate or or a apple or a um cutie or something like that if i want something but then rizzy left me we went around the whole block twice and she got tired she went riding her bike and jumping rope with me we only did a little bit of jump roping i think i literally for like five minutes and burn a couple calories and so i just was like let me just walk it makes me feel good to walk i can think so this is my third lap around without her i'm gonna go around one more time and um yeah i'm at 150 calories so far so i'm gonna try going around one more time and i'm not even to my third lap when i hit my house i'll be on my third lap so i'm just trying to get in at least a 200 calorie burn i wanted to go in the house and yes my ankles are hurting too because i'm speed walking um but the pain you got to push through guys you got to push through it hurts it burns my feet hurt I haven't really worn these sneakers in a while since I was smaller. So my feet is bigger in the sneaker that I was wearing when I was smaller, like more than 50 pounds smaller. So yeah, it makes a difference on my feet. They're comfortable shoes, but they're kind of uncomfortable around the pinkies. They're not gonna give me corns or nothing, but yeah. So I'm getting right past my house. So that's lap three and uh, Yep, we at 61.60. So I'm gonna go around one more time and see if that give me what I need. We shall see. All right, guys. Bye. Guys, I actually went around five times and this is my calorie burn. I had to motivate myself. I will see you guys tomorrow for day five. Good morning. It is day five and it is 7.35. Guys, I didn't go to bed till like 4, 4.30 in the morning editing my computer i need to get stuff off of it it took forever to get the day one through three vlog up because it's kind of long and i'm trying to do my best not to have real long vlogs um i want to keep them under 30 minutes so i'll be cropping things a little bit more um and then talking on another video about how things went it's 7 36 right now and i don't know if i'm gonna get up exercise if we're gonna go to the to park to the park go around here i don't know what we're gonna do it's a work day so we'll only be working out one time but we want to get a good workout in so gotta figure out what we're gonna do for this workout because we start work early today but yeah um i think i want some cream of wheat I love cream of wheat and it's quick and easy um I really don't like a real heavy breakfast like that um so yeah that's probably what I eat you'll definitely get a picture I really don't want to do nothing I really want to lay back down but I know I have to work out today I just don't know if I'm gonna do it now if I'm gonna do it later I'm gonna see what the hubby say and what he feel like and just go from there so I had some Thin pork chops that I'm that I had took out for dinner. Then I'm going to we're gonna have some sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna dice and cube them up and kind of bake them with a little bit of um, cinnamon and honey. I mean cinnamon, olive oil, brown sugar or something. Um, just try try to bake those in the oven and we'll have that and pork chop for dinner i don't know how i'm gonna do the pork chops but that's what dinner will be and you guys will see a picture of that i'm making cream of wheat and some fruit for me um, i don't know if i want sausage i know we gotta get rid of this sausage like i said i'm not going to be wasting anything whatever we have now is going to be what i'm going to use 
and then you know we'll be making better healthy options my cream wheat is going and I'm going to make um, two sausage patties I have to get rid of this sausage so I'm just gonna make it and um, have it if hubby want to eat some more later he can um, we're gonna have probably like a sausage patty and some fruit and cream wheat I'm not sure that's probably it I don't know if I'm gonna eat sausage I might just eat one um, but I want to get rid of the sausage so that's why I'm cooking it so that was my breakfast and you see my dinner is prepped and I'm going to be eating and off to a workout so join me. Hey y'all uh, we out here it is 9.13 in the morning got out here a little bit late but we're going to go around twice doing whatever jump rope and speed walk and all that stuff and I'll show you my burn after I'm done alright. I just ended off with jump rope my dumb self stop my um thing to see the duration that we've been walking and end up pausing and stopping the first you know my workout period but i have two pictures i'm going to see you're going to see the first one is going to be where i made a mistake and pause it how many calories i burned then the second one is going to be my ending i'm at 128 after the pause and starting all over so check it out this is my calorie burn 280 something pounds if i can do it you can do it let's do it together if you want some motivation inspiration you can inbox me, email me at CPR for the body or the CPR vibe, which is my other Instagram, more motivational, inspirational things. But I'm out here trying to do it. I'm doing a 60 day challenge to get this weight right. And then after that, it's another 60 days to get another 20 off. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we hit it hard this morning and I have a total of 719 calories. We only doing one workout. So that's why we went hard today. And guys, I'm feeling the energy and I'm loving the feeling that my body is having now. Stay tuned for dinner. So we wanted something to eat late night and I went and we got Chinese food while I was working so yeah it wasn't good we didn't even we shared this and that was what we left because it wasn't good but it happens we had a craving good morning <clears throat> my face looks terrible i'm getting ready to do a epsom soft flush yes this is what i use this helps to cleanse me and i should have did this before i even started my journey but my schedule wouldn't permit because I need to basically <clears throat> stay in the house. So I don't have to leave out till later on today. So hopefully it'll work way before then. It is like 7 something in the morning. I am boiling some eggs. And I'm probably going to eat boiled eggs and a piece of sausage or boiled eggs and a banana or something like that. Whatever I do eat, I will take a picture. But um, I'm getting ready to do this Epsom salt flush. And uh, yeah. I need to do that. This is day six, like I said, if I didn't say it already. It's kind of weird when you're doing this every day, remembering what you did or didn't say. Um, so the workout is going to be one because we have to work today. So we're going to work out probably <clears throat> just um, one time. Well, we are going to work out one time. Not sure exactly if we're going to go or if we're going to stay here. But I will record it and I will show you guys what I've done Um with my meals you will see my meals and you will also see my um my workout uh burn and all that good stuff so just stay tuned and um that's it all right guys it's late we wanted to wait for the sun to go down it's day six and it is as you can see it says saturday 6 2 at 301 p.m I gotta work in a couple hours, so I'm about to try to get it in real fast and see how many calories I can burn. And you will see my calories once I come back with those. I'm getting ready to go stretch, so I'm about to start my thing now. Hold on. It started and it's on zero, so I'll be back to show you my burn. One of my favorite things is jump roping, and because I'm heavier, it's a little difficult, but I still do pretty good for my size, but I'm determined to get even better, so I continuously practice around the track as I'm walking and getting my cardio. Hold on, hold on. 300 pounds, I'm determined. You got me with the one leg. Ready? Mm -hmm. How's my mother going faster than you? 
So that was the burn for day six, and it was a one workout day, and I burned 640 calories. Stay tuned for dinner. Dinner for today. This is what I felt like. I got a thin chicken breast, and then I got cauliflower with a little bit of ranch, and I'm going to drink some ice water, and that is it. Good morning. I'm so tired. Like, literally, I didn't go to bed till like, 1 something, and I had to get up at 5.50, because today is the day that I do the, um, something special, and, um... I'll just share that with you guys um, once I get up. I don't know if I'm eating breakfast. If I do, you know I'll take pictures of it. Yesterday, oh shoot, it says heart check, heart transmitter, because I just threw this thing off. So, you would have already seen my workout from yesterday when I went out to the park with the family. But when I came, um, when I got done with that workout, what I have been doing is turning it off and starting it over as if I'm working out again, just to see what my average burn is around the house and just doing stuff like that. But we ended up going bike riding yesterday. Like, it's like we just got adrenaline to just go, go, go and be out. We was out all day. We did karaoke last night. I was sweating. We dancing and moving. So all those things burn calories like crazy. I stopped this transmitter. Let me see if I could stop it. Oh, look guys, that's how many calories I burned, 1,872, it looked like 75 on that side, and um, this was just from after our workout, and um, I end up, we didn't end up going to work last night, so we ended up just getting on the bikes and riding to the park, and riding around, riding around, having fun, so that was a part of this calorie burn, then we just came home and I did karaoke, and that was so enjoyable, but yeah, 1,872, was what I burned and then that's not to mention how many calories I burned after that so you continue to burn calories especially when you work out your body and your muscles continue to burn that's how your metabolism gets back working and doing this thing so I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog I'm trying to keep them under 30 minutes um, you know but to get as much as I can in um, if they have to be long whoever it's for will watch it if not you know I don't know what to say I just want to share as much as I can um, the ups and downs my body is achy um what else is really achy um my shins and stuff hurt really bad so yep that's where i'm at um i'll take a picture of my breakfast and i'll show you guys what my workout is going to be which is what i'm going to do this morning with my little special person so um i'll see you guys later i'll see you guys when i get there bye this is my breakfast for day six it's just a hash brown and two boiled eggs with a little bit of hot sauce and pepper we are out here. Look at That's my girl. We about to get it in. Look guys. Y'all see? All the people. Are you ready for me? This is our first 5K. This is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. Alright y'all. Y'all see all these people, all these girls from different schools? This girl is determined and my family is rocking with me. We getting this done, getting it done. All right, y'all. They doing Zumba. Grizzly and her friends. Look at the hubby. <laughs> Look at Rizzi. so much fun stuff out there for the kids to do and my baby truly had a lot of fun getting her body moving and it was really enjoyable after we did a little fun activities it was time for us to get ready for the race and we started off by stretching which was my recommendation before the girls started racing um was for us to stretch so that's what we did and then after we stretched we got going so hope you guys are enjoying we we just went through and we're getting ready to go to the starting line. Right, Riz? Yeah. Getting ready to go to the starting line. Look at everybody. Yeah. The 
this is so so amazing it's such a good feeling we're gonna join some more of these and i'm gonna learn how to run this bad boy because i'm determined so that's why i'm gonna keep going to delaware park and doing this with my family look at all these people man this is amazing see you guys we can ready to go to the start how you feel, baby? Oh, you excited? Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to get our work girl on? Yeah. All right, y'all. You're okay. Huh? Now we're getting snacks, bananas, and granola. Guys, we did it. My first 5K. I feel so good. So, so good. Yeah. We just finished. It's time to go get some snacks. Oh my gosh, my burn, hold on. 770, burn, but I'll show it. I'm about to go get some water. All right, y'all. I got it. We finished, guys. We feel good. She took her shirt off. This was a great experience. My legs are on fire. My body feels heavy. But we pushed and we made it through and we made it to the finish line. That was the most important thing. And this was my first 5K. It was very inspiring. And I'm thinking about looking into others and pushing myself to be able to at least run a quarter or a half of the time nonstop. You know what I mean? So I did like a lot of speed walking and a little bit of running, but I did get up and I did something. I hope this was inspiring to somebody. And I'll talk to you guys later with my burn and my dinner. You could? Oh, you want to get another banana, baby? You could if you want. They're going to have a lot of bananas left. They got fruit? What do you want? We are going to do our overall well guys, just looking at these pictures, I'm so, so happy that I took the step forward and did this 5K with my daughter. I was a little hesitant and I felt some type of way because of my size and I knew I couldn't run it, but at least I made it through it. Guys, you really need to log your journey from beginning, even if you're embarrassed about photos, even if you're embarrassed about how you look, because it'll help you stay motivated to keep pushing. I had no clue I looked this big. Because I definitely don't feel this big, but I'm pushing to change that. This was a dinner mashed cauliflower with brown sugar glazed salmon and garlic naan. All right, guys, these are my kangaroo jumps. Y'all know I did a 5K earlier, but I got energy and I'm back out here burning again on the weekend. So I just got done eating this huge bowl of ice cream and it's almost down to the bottom. Yeah, I still eat what I love, but guess what? Looks are deceiving. <laughs> it's a little teeny bowl, like it literally sits in the palm of my hand. It holds like a half a cup, maybe a cup of ice cream, but I didn't put that much in there. And I got a miniature spoon. See how little the spoon is? Look at my thumb. Yeah, <laughs> so I still eat what I like. I just be more moderate and not eating out of my big fat glass bowl that I normally eat out of and I'm using a little miniature spoon while eating it so yep still do just got to be moderate